All right, we've officially found Cole Swisher. And we are gonna be following him up towards Superior. He knows of a spot in Superior that apparently would be good, but he's worried about, whoopsie, sorry Sky. He's worried about the winds tonight. So he's considering one deeper in the mountains. Uh, he says it's a pretty easy, basic trail. Something similar to Apache Trail heading out towards Apache Lake. expecting any snow up here and uh, this is straight up snow and slush these are not going to be friendly roads in the morning I'm not sure how far we really should get going in here. Icy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you know, it's not going to be kind in the morning when it ices over. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking this. I'm sliding already. Yeah, I'm thinking we probably should head down and find a different spot. I agree. All right, so we'll go back to that road where it separates. Okay. Back into the uh, pavement. Okay. And see where that is. Maybe we'll find a spot right there. Yeah. It's pretty low. I'm sure we'll find something. Very sketchy, very fast. So it looks like they got heavy snow during this last big storm. And uh, most of it's melted away, but there's a lot of ice and slush from that previous storm and previous snow. I figured even though we could make it up this road further, it's not worth camping up here because there's a lot of off camber roads that are going to be iced over in the morning and a lot more difficult for these big trucks to trek. We are the only ones always out looking for trouble.
mostly all asphalt? Yeah, it goes back to the street. Okay. And the freeway, it's 33 miles. Yeah, I should be okay on that. Okay, yeah, let's hope this next spot is good. Yeah, fingers crossed. That was another successful overlanding trip. We uh, met up with Cole Swisher, and from there we went out to the Globe Superior area. We went up Pinnacle Mountain, from what I understand, the Pinnacle Mountain Trail. There was a campsite we were trying to get to up on that mountain, but we were probably a quarter way up, and Cole's truck was sliding off the road. And I've got a bigger, longer truck than Cole, so I was like, dude, let's turn around before we don't get the opportunity to. So we turned around, we went down uh, into the valley and come to find out the only other option for camping was in nasty, thick mud. And one, that meant we had to crawl out through the muddy trail in the morning. And two, our dogs wouldn't be able to do anything. It would be too complicated, too difficult to get them out of the truck and into the tent when they're dry. So what we did is we drove 45 minutes back around to the other side of the mountain range. And uh, we camped in this awesome, awesome little campsite just outside of town. Well, that's all for now. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so that way you get more content. We will see you on the next episode of Wolf Wagon Adventures.